All right, everybody, welcome to the Safe Haven. I'm your host, DC. We have Sonny and Old Crypto Mage here from Make BSC Great Again. Let me make sure I said that how it needs to be said. Yep, Make BSC Great Again. But yeah, you guys, we are here for another AMA. And one thing I want to say to the guest here is that over here, we put a high regard on integrity. You know, so I ask that any question I ask, you guys would answer it with honesty and directly as well. And that if there's anything that you guys can't answer or that you're not prepared to answer, just please politely say that. And for the people who are listening, I ask that you guys be considerate of the guest position and understand and respect their time and our time. And if we get to a one question limit, just go ahead and follow that and don't try to do two. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this old crypto mage. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. How'd you get into this space? What brought you here? Hey, bro. Um, I just told Dumbledore. Uh, I'm not sure if you're here, but all good, man. Um, it's actually Sunny's launch. I'm just uh, I'm the contract developer, and uh, I have I have so much respect for Sunny. So I'm going to try to help answer any questions. Also, my uh, my voice is a little bit messed up today, so I can't talk as much as I want to. But um, yeah, I'll let I'll let Sonny take the take the show here. All right, Sonny, that question is to you now. Uh, yeah, uh, repeat the question. Any details you want out of the question, please. Uh, yeah, man, just just give us an overview of what brought you to the space. Okay, um, my uh, career in well, basically, uh, internet endeavors uh, started quite a long time ago with uh, website marketing, uh, domain name, buying, selling, uh, acquisition, and leasing. And uh, uh, naturally, when crypto started to trend, um, well, I mean, I, I, was in, uh, I was in Dogecoin before it was even a really, you know, extremely popular meme. So uh, that, that's kind of where it, that's kind of where it started. And uh, then I started to, you know, put, get my feet wet get into the water a little bit and uh, uh, came across Mage there um, over a year back and uh, <clears throat> asked to be, you know, uh, hey, I, I want to get more into this. And, uh, you know, I've been a, I've been in stocks. I've been in stock options. I've been in the f foreign exchange, all that stuff. And uh, uh, I'm an American in the Midwest and uh, we don't have a lot to do in the cornfield. So we play on the Internet. That's what we do. And, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the, uh, the roots of where it all happened. And, uh, then as I started getting more into, uh, you know, being a part of teams and, you know, learning the, learning the flow of certain things, um, uh, it eventually came down to, Hey, you know, uh, this is my first launch and, uh, what I'm basically here to do is, uh, well, I'll, I'll step it back a little bit. Um, what? What I wanted to do was make a statement because of the current BSC trend in the BSC market. So that statement had to be made kind of explicitly. It kind of had to kind of have it had a little punch in the face factor to it. Henceforth, henceforth the name, right? So um, that's what it had to be. There was no other way around that in my mindset because uh, otherwise it wouldn't have much hype factor to it. And it's it, it comes down to a statement and making a point that BSC does not have to be what it is right now. And there's a long line of real dirty history of why it is that way, but it, it doesn't have to be that way. And so if we can get enough legitimate developers and people that are willing to get behind uh, a movement, um, I mean, man, I mean, just to be honest with you, we could have done this the easy way. Uh, I put it as uh, you got Ethereum and you, you're waving a cookie in front of everybody's face and everyone's taking a bite of that cookie because it's so popular. But people don't know what Ethereum really is. And I know a lot of you probably love it and it's probably made, of you, made a lot of you a lot of money. But there's also the deep shadow realm of what it truly is being um, the enemy of decentralization. I, I mean, if you just look at the history of it, if you just look at the current statistics of it, you have over 65 percent of all stake Ethereum, right, being owned by five wallets, globalist hedge funds. And that is what it's becoming. 
And so if all of us want to see crypto become something great again, right? Um, we have to have, we have to stand behind something like uh, uh, CZ's vision where, I mean, that dude is a legend, right? Everyone knows that he left his own country to uh, go to another one and, uh, and, and go after this endeavor of, uh, of decentralization. And it's amazing if you actually follow the uh, storyline and the history of it. And so that's what this came down to. Take the easy money grab and make my first launch and make a bunch of money off Ethereum, which we could have done. I, I, I threw ideas back and forth with Mage that we could have put together and, you know, they, they easily would have rocketed, you know. But, you know, why take the easy path, you know, um, be the anti-electricity, you know, it, it, don't take the path of least resistance <laughs> to take something that's going to cause you a battle and is going to challenge you and make you better. And, um, and you take all those factors and ingredients and put them into a pot and uh, take myself who I would never rug anybody. I would never do anything harmful to anybody. And uh, yeah, you may have their a recipe for success. And so that is my endeavor and what I choose to do. Um, I've gathered a, 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 a small army to begin with of people that I know in the space throughout uh throughout these last couple of years and bringing them all into this. It's been a difficult battle in these first few days. I know we got the market cap to like 180, 190,000 um, off the hype alone because we set um, about, I don't know, a week long uh, 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 hype channel uh, to get it, to get it, yeah, people ready and had to battle the snipers and battle the bots and stuff like that and, and all of that. But man, that's the, uh, that's the battle. And that's uh, what I'm here to do is uh, kind of uh, put my stake in the place and um, do something more difficult that a lot of people aren't willing to put them their faces out and, uh, and, and do. And so uh, if that answers your question, that's, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. Did more than answer it, man. Good work, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, it's, it's good that that's how you are, man, because there's a lot of people who do do quick cash grabs, which I don't mind if you're going to do, you know, if you want to make a project so you can get rich. I mean, I think that's everybody's ultimate foundational goal. I don't mind that, but when it's when people want to make a project to get rich and it's costing the investors because they put in the halfway effort, you know. So, yeah, man, that sounds good. I liked how this is coming off, man. But, dude, let's go ahead and get straight into the project. All right. So, first thing I want to know about is, so you guys, your main goal is to make Binance Smart Chain great again. So how exactly are you going to make that happen? Uh, it comes down to an army and it comes down to uh, a mindset. Um, for so many years now, um, BSC has been known as the place to get cheated on. And man, that's a rough place to be. We don't want to be in that place. A lot of us used to make money in BSC, right? A lot of us used to make good money in BSC. And that's what it was when, when it, 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 the hype factor of it and stuff like that, when callers first started becoming popular and, and things like that, man, it was a positive space. And I, I know a lot of people have uh, taken the easy route, stolen money and uh, destroyed uh destroyed other people's lives and uh, totally cheated on communities, um, ro basically robbed communities. And uh, uh, our, our statement, make BSC great again, man, that's a, uh, that's a heavy hitting statement. I mean, who does that? You know what I mean? What single entity could possibly do that if you know and understand crypto? Like it's it's a tough statement to uh, uh, to live up to, and so this is what it comes down to. It comes down to build an army. It, it comes down to the battle, the fight, the day to day grind, the up and downs, uh, the networking, everything that we have to do. And uh, uh, man, we're going to give it our all to do that. And so this first initial stage involved obviously everything that bsc loves right you have to do it uh get in the callers get in the uh, uh get in the ads get in the marketing uh push 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 and at least you know that in one way gets some eyes on us and when enough eyes are on us then we can start really trying to move to change mindsets and that's when 
real things that we have planned in the background come into play. We've we've released a utility to help with uh, with the hype. Um, uh, uh, you know, getting getting into the AI trend on the on the chat and stuff and whatnot. But I mean, that's all a multi-tiered system. Um, that's that's just one piece of a very small, you know, multi-tiered system. So I remember, uh, sounds great so far, dude. Yeah, dude, that's that's a very good answer. Um, so tell me this: What do you think is the biggest challenge? Right. What do you think is the biggest challenge to garnering that type of community when, like you said, you know, a lot of people over here are Jeets? What's the biggest challenge to garnering that com community and how do you plan on tackling that challenge? Uh, the biggest challenge is the people, because behind these little emojis and PFPs that you see are actual real people. Well, most of them anyways. Right. But many of them. And once you dig in to the, the people and you start extracting some emotion out of those people and uh, convincing them. Well, you don't even have to convince them. You just show them truth. Truth is the ultimate. Uh, truth is, is the ultimate weapon in, in anyone's ammunition, in anyone's bag. You just give them truth, right? And you show integrity and honesty and all those values that you guys say you live by yourselves. And you show that. And maybe you can convince enough people that, yeah, this uh, is a corrupted chain. Like Ethereum, uh, that we, we really, really do want to make BSC great again. And so when it comes down to um, the hardest challenge, it's definitely the people. And it's not really the marketing and, and, and all of that business because, I mean, man, we're in crypto. The smallest thing, you know, tiny little hype factor hype factor catalyst can just explode any token at any given moment. And, uh, but what it comes down to, to build a real revolution or a real army or, or a real group of followers that believe in the ideals that you believe in, it takes down to really get into the mindsets of people. So, uh, that's what we do in the background, um, contact people and explain the situation and say, would you like to be a part of this? Okay. Do you know what BSC used to be? And do you know what it could be? Um, and that right there is, uh, is a great endeavor in itself, but it's also worth it. It's also worth the battle. That's what's up, man. I like that. You give us some really good answers. Props to you, first of all, very professional and very clear cut. Um, cause these are some difficult questions to answer, man. Cause we're in a bear market and a lot of people think, well, how are you going to stop Jeets and get all together? Cause you have your community, you know, so those are some tough questions to answer, but you're giving really good answers. And I believe it's possible. I believe that I believe that you pushing this project hard, never quitting and getting the right people behind you. It really can change the culture. I truly do believe that. Now, next thing I do want to talk about is the 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 slogan, you know, fuck Ethereum. So. Yes. OK, I'm let me explain. You, you don't have you don't have to you don't have to say anymore. I know what I need to answer right now. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'd like you personally yourself to put yourself in the place of a person that wants to change a mindset of a people that's lived in basically a garbage bin for a long time now and get creative, get innovative. What would you say? How would you approach that? Um, man, the only thing that works in this world is uh, controversy in this crypto world. The only thing that brings eyes to something like this is controversy. And that controversy comes down to uh, something as simple as a name. And man, I, I went back and forth on different names, uh, uh, even with Mage. I was like, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? And uh, nothing hits you straight in the face is that. Nothing grabs that attention faster or stronger as that. And that's what it really came down to. I, I didn't want to put it. I know curse words limit tokens. I, I know that for a fact that they do that. But there was no better way to express our movement than that. I mean, fuck Ethereum. Make BSC great again. If people yeah. actually, tru if, pre if people actually truly knew what Ethereum was and is doing, man, all of you guys on this VC right now, you're in crypto. You make money. 
you uh, that's your that's your goal. Your goal is to your goal is to make money. And there's a portion of you, a percentage of you uh, that are actually behind what tr crypto truly is. And that is decentralized finance. That is the government not down your back at every waking moment waiting to sniff out another tax dollar from you. Right. Yep. Exactly. So yeah, I'm, I'm with that one on that one. When you talk okay. About if, you're, if, you're, if you're with that, if you're with me on that one, then you can hear me out. The only way for that to happen is if people get behind a movement and understand what Ethereum truly is. Because right now, like I told you, it's waving a cookie in front of your face. Everyone's biting. It's it's the only thing hot, right? Uh, BSC is in a lull right now, and uh, uh, it, it's that's what it is, man. It's uh, if people really understood what Ethereum stands for, and if you think you have a future in crypto and you want to keep doing this, then get off that chain. I mean, I mean, truly, truly, if you think there's going to be a future in crypto, Ethereum's going to take over if people don't start. Uh, taking action. And once it does, you're going to find yourself in the pocket of globalist hedge funds and the, and the more centralization you could ever imagine. And that's what this comes down to. And that's what is the reason for the movement and the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, uh, I hope that answered your question too. Yeah, man. Good answer. Good answer. Um, this next question is for old crypto mage so if you could go over with um what are some of the successes and failures you've had developing projects and what have you done differently with this hey man um dude i'm, I'm sorry it's not my intention to like uh swerve from your question um but again i'm i'm, <clears throat> I'm not on the team here whatsoever um i did want to add one thing though to what sonny said and again, excuse me, my voice is not the best today. I can't talk as much as I want to. Um, but uh, Sonny brought up, you know, not only the fundamental um, fundamentals of Ethereum, which honestly I'm not too affiliated with myself. I do know that um, Sonny wanted to, to zag when everybody else was zigging, right? And I fully respect it. Um, he said people should not need to pay, you know, 40 to $100 and that's on a, on a pretty light day, right? Just to make a transaction. I can tell from experience um, in my channel alone, if you read some of the comments, people despise the Binance Smart Chain. People are saying nothing moons there. Everything gets, you know, cheated there. And when, when Sonny was telling me his, uh, his idea for, um, for this launch, it was basically like, Everybody right now is, is shitting on, on Binance. Nobody has any um, belief and hope in it anymore. And so he wanted to be that change where, where everybody could uh, consolidate into one massive, um, great BSC community and make it something special. So when he told me these ideas, I couldn't help myself. But even though once more, man, I'm not on the team. I don't want to pretend like I'm on the team or act like I am. Um, this is something I'm just hyped about um, as as Sonny has been killing it and I, I support the idea. I think it's extremely unique and I fully respect that grind set that he has to uh, to come out when everybody is fearful of, uh, of, of actually, you know, dabbling with the BSC. So, um, yeah, man, uh, uh, that's basically my take here. Um, I've I've provided Sonny different marketing connections I have. Um, I've, I've tried helping him a lot and uh, he's just been killing it mostly on his own. So full respect to him. Man. Great. Awesome. So let's go over. God, where do I want to take this first? Okay. Let's go. So what is your, what is the, what is some of your elaborate marketing plans, Sonny? Okay. So, if you look at the real world and let's say you own a chain store, right? Um, you're going to go and you're going to put ads, you know, in uh, every major press release that you possibly can do. Um, or you're going to uh, dabble in various different marketing strategies. And uh, that's what you're going to do. We're talking 
crypto here. So you're you're limited to only a few things that people know, and especially the BSC world, right? Uh, you're you're limited to listings. You're limited to callers. You're limited to affiliations, and uh, beyond that, um, AMAs and talking. I mean, we're all here pitching a product that people can't physically touch. Some people go and they try to implement real world products into crypto and that works sometimes and most of the time it doesn't. But as far as marketing strategy, man, we're, we're going to provide everything uh, possible. We're going to get callers. We're going to get uh, uh, people involved. We're going to get connections we're going to get listings you know uh, moon talk uh, uh, BSC trending all of that and uh, a lot of this stuff um, I'm still myself learning about everything that has the best ROI because I have a business mindset and that's where I come from and I don't do crypto for a living uh, like a lot of people do um, so my mindset is a little bit different uh, what I've done for other tokens in the past and what I'm gonna do for here too, and it's going to be a very difficult battle, but I think I can do it. It's just going to take a little bit of innovation or a little bit of creativity, um, but providing uh, press releases and market distributions. And when you talk to like talk about the Internet world and things like that, um, SEO and getting websites popular. But I mean, make no mistake, it's controversial man. it's extremely controversial because of the name. But that is that doesn't stop many names in crypto right that doesn't stop many different things i mean you go on cmc you'll see a list of names with the word fuck in it you know what i mean it's just uh it's just one of those things but ours has a different meaning and idea behind it so yeah um it, it, it everything you can imagine as far as marketing is going to be put into play um we're going to coordinate it the best i can with uh, uh with proper timing and uh that's 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 the goal and so uh, the hardest thing here is you take a pool of people whether it's like a hundred or two hundred people or let's even say a thousand people in a telegram and uh there's only a very small minute percentage of those people that are going to actually get involved a lot of them are there to bot or snipe your your token right and this ends up being a very long grind and, and a lot of anxious people especially if the developer or uh, is not on on site online 24 7 um even had a little bit of that today uh quite a bit of that today actually and uh it, it you know it gets depressing at times but then you realize that you know a lot of people in crypto have very short-sighted memory and or short-sighted vision too and so the goal here for marketing is to obtain enough base minded people that get the idea that want crypto to live beyond what it is right now. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, if you're, if you, I'll keep, you know, sounding like a broken record, but if you push to people that literally Ethereum is owned by the World Economic Forum, do a little bit of research on that. Do a little bit of research on the few wallets that actually own the majority of stake of all staked Ethereum. And you're going to see where crypto is heading to in the future that it has. And all this money that people think they're about to make, they're not. All of these great bull cycles are slowly starting to become downtrodden. And man, yeah, that is the marketing goal is the people. And so this is what I do. I get on, I talk, I, uh, I, I converse with people and I, I try to get real personality and emotion out of people and i've started to garner i've started to garner that like i've started to gather a lot of that and some really awesome team members here and uh it's it, it may be looked at as a slow moon but it may, may be a necessity that's what it has to be because uh that's it, that's the idea the, the, the idea is hard to sell the idea is yeah make bsc great again you know, anyone can say that, but who the hell can do that? You know what I mean? And yeah, uh, I yeah. Kind of I, that for you, which um, I'm really glad you made that point of, you know, a lot of people want to do things, but everybody hasn't got what it takes. So one thing I wanted to know is 
there have been other projects that have tried to create some sort of revolutionary movement or they have tried to switch a culture in a way. You know, I can't name it off the top of my head right now, but I have AMA'd them and I have seen them around the space. They're really community driven project where everybody has one goal to change a culture. So what would you have done differently than ones that we've seen fail before? What would be the biggest difference between you and them? Uh, the big, biggest difference would be heart. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't know me, but the biggest difference would be actually putting heart into something. And uh, that in itself, I, I mean, where is heart in crypto? It is few far in between, not found. It's almost, uh, it's almost invisible in the crypto space. Uh, I mean, how do you put, you know, real people in, in, in front of this thing and, uh, and, and show true heart? And in these initial stages, you know, people may not even have seen the best heart out of me yet, just because of the, uh, just because of the hype. The, the the first stages of this thing are, man, as you know well, um, uh, probably all too well, it's a mad rush, right? I, I mean, it, it, it's a mad rush to try to get your name out there and eyes on you quick, so that way your chart doesn't drop, and uh, all of a sudden you have a really tough battle uphill, you know, and uh, so. What I would do different, what I is, I've seen a lot of those token, you know, community tokens and, and stuff like that. Most of them died out very quickly. And uh, what I would say the big biggest difference there is heart and honesty, too. Uh, you mentioned the word integrity. Um, man, like if you put values into crypto and you show people that you really do care about an idea or you do really do care about the future of crypto, and uh, you're, you're going to eventually start getting people on board with that idea. And that is what I would do different. I mean, that that is what I am trying to do different. And so hopefully people will see the heart. And, uh, you know, it, it's a tough it's a tough battle, especially in BSC, because if a guy isn't on there 24 seven, I mean, every waking hour, man, I'm not a meth head. I'm not a coke addict. I, I don't sit, I don't sit at my computer for six days in a row with no sleep and then eventually crash and then everything gets destroyed. That's not what I do. I have a schedule. I wake up very early. I go to bed uh, pretty late and uh, I grind. I, I have a family like most everyone else, right? And this is why I try to provide his heart and knowing that man, you don't need to cheat something like this because you're safe. I'm, I'm not going away. You know, you, uh, the community, you know, may eventually fail as they do in 99% of every token. But no, not if you have heart and you show that to people, the endeavor is getting enough people behind that to see that. And uh, that's what I want to do different than most other tokens that are trying something similar to this fashion. Yeah, good answer, man. Very good answer. So next thing I wanted to know is, you know, that's it. One thing to, you know, create a new culture and really start a big movement when it's in a bull market, because a lot of people are really excited and everybody's trying to really get in on stuff. But, you know, in a bear market, you know, it's already difficult to build up a community, you know, but how would you reach for the certain people that you want that are going to really push this forwards and maintain that community through the bear market into the bull market because you know how people jump on and drop it. yeah they do and that's the that's the hardest battle in itself right there and uh man some of the people that i've met that become part of this you can weed them out fairly quickly you know who's here for a quick buck you know who's here for you know um uh, uh just something to play with you know make a few dollars or whatever but these some of these people i won't put them on the spot but they're here in this chat and um man they they're great they're they're great the, these people are the type of people you can gather together to make an army and if enough people with the same ideas get together and the idea behind that those ideals behind that are true and honest and the information that we are providing is factual um then you you can start a roller coaster, right? And it's going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. But you're also going to start gathering a lot of interest. And with the punch in the face name and with the people that were getting on board, then I think we've started 
uh, uh, I think we've started this roller coaster that we're willing to ride because, uh, uh, like I said, heart, integrity, honesty, truth. Like any, I, I get questions all day. I have all day uh, about uh, when this, when that, when this, when that. You're not going to get away from that culture in BSC. You know, that's going to always be there because it is what it is. But if you can get enough people behind it, um, then all of a sudden you may have a change factor. And that change factor may end up changing other people's mindsets. So uh, that's that's what it's going to take. And uh, that's what I'm willing to do. And like I said, man, I, I, you could have taken the easy route and said, hey, you know, I want to launch an Ethereum token. I got a thousand ideas on paper that would have freaking moon like crazy. They put enough money behind it. They will. But that's not the point. The point is, if we don't start fighting, uh, we're not going to have the crypto that we know and love anymore. We, we really won't. Most of us will be struggling, you know, to get anywhere in crypto if things continue that the way they're that the way they are. So that's yeah, another uh, kind of winded answer to your question. But yeah, that's, that's the answer. It was a very good answer, man. I, and I do agree, man. I think that if we don't rise up and start taking stands now and really getting things changed, our um, opportunities are going to be diminished because I've always told people like these bull runs in DeFi as you know it, it's not going to be like this way forever, especially if we don't step in. It. <laughs> exactly, so, man. Exactly. Like, I, yeah. Like I always say, you know, this bull run is like this is a really important run because if you just I'm going to speak on this real quick and then we're going to get right to the community questions. Look, they all just threw their hands up like that. But, you know. It'll probably be about 2025, 2026 when actual laws really get set in place. And we don't know what it could look like after that. But anyways, man, Sonny, you've done a great job here. Man, I've been enjoying listening to you. I think you're a really good speaker. And I can tell you have done things in the real world just based off your verbal skills, man. So I really appreciate you, dude. But without further ado, man, we're going to go ahead and have these, um, we're going to have these community questions now. Uh, like I said, you guys earlier in the beginning, you know, make sure you guys are respectful. And when we get to that point where there's so many hands up, and I got to get us down to a one question limit. Don't try to sneak two. Just be honest. And ask your one. All right. Let's go with J Crypto. J Crypto, your mic is unmuted. You can go ahead and ask your question. The floor is yours, dude. Okay. Yo, good evening, DC. Okay. So my question is I checked on your Twitter page that you have utilities coming up what utilities is your team bringing to the community and how is it actually going to enable the longevity of the projects because at the end of the day people are going to get tired eventually in like a month in two months people are going to get tired if there's no utility in the project so what utilities is your team bringing up thank you okay yeah that's a great question that comes down to uh, kind of what Major was talking about too, um, the grind set. Uh, so the, the, the first quote unquote utility that we're bringing is self-advertising content that people can use. Um, it's, uh, uh, we have it live now. Uh, we dabbled into the AI spectrum there where people can create um, their own unique AI generated images with uh, our logo and our information on it. And that's the beginning of a multi-tiered system like I was talking about before. But uh, utilities is a difficult subject, especially in BSC and especially in Ethereum too, because I've witnessed and all of you have too, that most utility based tokens do not last very long because people are gonna get bored of them anyways. So obviously we're gonna create as many self-advertising systems and utilities as possible just to spread the word out faster, right? Um, so many amazing utilities have come out. I've, I've watched and, and played with and had so much fun. And uh, whether it's being, you know, play to earn games or whatever, they all just eventually die. What doesn't die is a movement if that movement is executed correctly. And so we're going to obviously have utilities behind this, you know, the, to get as we further go along, higher market caps, keep pushing. Um, but don't take your eye on what the real problem is. I mean, I, that's just me speaking to you personally. 
don't take your eye off what the real problem is because if enough time passes, uh, 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 we're not going to have a crypto to enjoy utilities on, or you know what I mean. And so, uh, yes, utilities are going to be added as it comes up, whether it be uh, staking or NFTs or whatever comes in the future with higher market caps. But um, yeah, uh, the, the biggest utilities that I love the most are the ones that advertise themselves and get people hyped to use, and then all of a sudden it becomes a, all be, all, it becomes something that people can share in a tweet. Or, uh, or in a Telegram message, or or, or whatever. Uh, go beyond that. 4chan. Uh, there, there's a million different places you can share some of these things, and especially when it's especially when it's images. And imagery has a it has a great impact. And it's the AI deal. You know, some of us have made some good money on the AI deal, and uh, that slowly starts getting into a lull. And uh, people are like, "All right, what's the next meta? What's the next this? What's the next that?" But uh, yeah. Um, it kind of answered your question. Yes, we have we have an already usable utility on the Telegram channel. Um, but as this progresses into higher market caps, there will be more provided, and all utilities will be based on being able to generate some sort of uh, advertisement towards the message that we're trying to push. Because we're that, that's the whole purpose of the token is. Uh, we want crypto to last longer than 2025 and 26 when all of a sudden everything becomes centralized and uh, and the hammer gets put down. You think ban hammers and telegram channels are bad? Wait till something like that shit happens, man. Next thing you know, you won't be asking these questions on an AMA. You'll be finding something else to do. So that's my, uh, that's my spiel about that. Thank you, bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you coming out. I appreciate you. Uh, another question, man. Yes, sir, man, as well. Let's go to King Jason. All right, let's see what you got. Go ahead. King Jason, your mic's something, man. What's that? I didn't catch that. No, I was letting King Jason know he could talk. All right, we're going right to three, two, and one. Jason, raise your again when you're ready to talk. Let's go. Read. Read your mic, some you, man. Hey, DC. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hey, How's doing it going? Good. good, good, good. Oh, by the way, um, just a simple question. Uh, what contributions, incentives, or ambassador programs do you have or plan to announce? Uh, for for for, for fuckies. Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, what contributions, incentives, or ambassador programs do you have, or plan to announce, on your project? Whenever when the hype dies down, do you have like a backup backup plan in store for that? Yeah. I mean, okay. So the first initial stages of any crypto project is hype get eyes on yourself, right? And uh, then all of a sudden you're wondering, how do I promote this and make this last? And that's when it comes down to the people. And so we're gonna put, you know, different competitions, but I wanna kind of get unique with it. After these, I keep repeating to people, you know, uh, the, the, that are screaming all the when this, when that, when that questions, you know, we, we, every project gets that, but, there are going to be rewards for based people and that's already been coming into play. Um, uh, and it, some of it comes behind the scenes, people that really want to get involved that have, well, guess what? They're going to be rewarded. And I've already done that. And some people can uh, attest to that. Uh, but yeah, there's the, the, the normal stuff, competitions and uh, rewards for people will continue going as Obviously, people keep buying the token and it keeps rising. Uh, then those sort of things come into play. And we want people to be happy being a part of this movement. If they're not, then, man, there's a, a lot of other things to go to. But that's the point that we're trying to get across here is, yes, you will be rewarded. Uh, uh, but also you're, you're a part of something that could literally change something if this really got big. 
and you're behind a person, myself being in a team that is not going to jeet on you. You're not getting rugged. You're not getting, uh, you're not getting the wool pulled over your eyes in, in, in any manner. And so the reward in itself is being a part of that, but obviously there'll be uh, financial incentives to, uh, for being a part of competitions or uh, uh, things like that that we'll, that we'll be having on the Telegram. But uh, also uh, we'll be spreading that out as this continues along into Twitter, because the best way to reach the real world obviously doesn't involve only being on Telegram. We're going to have to involve ourselves heavily into Twitter. And uh, uh, that's scheduled as well. Uh, getting heavily more into AMAs and uh, getting more outside eyes, outside influence involved uh, in there. This first stage, obviously, had, like I, get, so I do sound like a broken record, but it had to involve callers. It had to involve uh, awareness. And that's all done through Telegram in the first initial stages. And then you outreach to Twitter. And then you outreach beyond that to uh, eventually the real world. But I'm trying to skip a couple steps, too, and get straight to the real world people um, uh, to get behind something like this, because that way we can kind of uh, we can kind of make it so people know that there is based real people on here rather than just when this, when that people, if that kind of answers your question, like it's, uh, it, it's a battle, but that's, that's what, that's what the goal is. So. All right. All right. Um, got your answer. Uh, quite good on, on the response. Thanks, honey. Uh, thanks, DC. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. All right, let's go to. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go to Robert. Okay, Robert, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going through the uh, comments to pick out some community questions. So, guys, if you have any, make sure you get those up. Uh, Robert, you can go ahead and uh, ask your question, now, buddy. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. And so my question is going to be a personal question. Wait, do what now? You're... Robert, you good, yeah. man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can hear me clear because my mic is uh, doing echoes and such stuff. Yeah, sorry. So I'm going ahead to ask my question. Yeah, man, go ahead, dude. So do you think it's the best way to follow a trend that was successful on Ethereum to bring back the great move of uh, BSC? Um, I, I think I semi-understood, but sort of the question. Could, uh, could you repeat that maybe a little closer to your mic um, and speak just a little bit yeah, louder? Robert. Yeah, man. I was saying if you think it's the best idea to use a train that was successful on Ethereum to great back, uh, to bring back the greatness of PSC. Okay, so um, Ethereum trends is what we're we're talking about. Um, yeah, well, as we all know, in the world of crypto, trends are trends they'll spill into every chain. So to answer your question, there's there's really no one specific trend that's going to create any difference in BSC as it ever did in Ethereum, in my opinion. Uh, that, that may be controversial, but uh, that you go after AI, that, that's the current hype, then you go after uh, whatever the next best thing is. Um, you, you involve it into your token, uh, but man, there's been movements like this in the past that have been trying to create it. And most of them, this is how it works out. 99.9% .9 of all of them, they're community-based tokens with zero tax. And they're ran by a bunch of farmers. And that's what they are. And you get a really awesome community behind it. I mean, I wish I could have them, man. I've seen some of them. They're amazing people. Uh, but they end up being constrained um, uh, by a wall. And that wall is that before that token was ever launched, um, the contract was already set into place. It's renounced or, or whatever, right? Um, there were 
motives behind that. And those motives were farming and the communities are destroyed. Everyone gets pissed off and it's, they spread out into other communities and they spread out into communities that hate on those communities. And then it becomes this endless cycle of bullshit. And my whole premise behind this and my whole uh, goal is to get away from that cycle of bullshit to gather enough people that we could take any trend, anything that's going on and apply it to this single token. And uh, it, it's going to be a battle, obviously, because of the name, like we keep repeating, but that's okay because best way, like I was saying, uh, is controversy. And uh, it'll get people reading. It'll get people actually following and uh, uh, it will involve many trends into this. It's just... Uh, I want this to become community based, but launching it zero tax eventually fades. Yeah, it, it, the right things can't be implemented. And then all of a sudden uh, you have the same scenarios, 99.9% .9 of all the other trash tokens that, that, that have come out, have come out to be based on communities, but never succeeded to change anything. So uh, yeah, there's another answer to that question. Yeah, makes sense. Thank you very much uh, for the answer and thank you for the opportunity. And I wish you luck in your project. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks. Appreciate you, Robert. All right, let's go to... There was a comment question. I forgot his name. Let me go back and check it real quick. Uh, it was... Gosh, uh, God Lifer wants to know how realistic and sustainable is the project? It's going to come down to the people. Um, myself, I can't make it run by myself. Uh, this was put into full display today. Uh, we had some people selling off because uh, uh, of fear and uh uh, and, you know, BSC has a great amount of fear behind it because people don't know people, right? They've been rugged and scammed so many freaking times that they, uh, they're they afraid to last an hour if a dev isn't on there, you know, uh, uh, spilling his guts. Um, sustainability, that all comes down to the people behind it that are willing to get behind a movement. And I'll keep repeating myself on this. Uh, because we're all going to lose our our crypto that we know and love if, if things aren't done, if more tokens like this aren't aren't launched, even if mine isn't the one to make it. You know what I mean? It's the movement that matters, and that has to change things. Or all of a sudden, we're facing a much different world in crypto. And so, sustainability all comes down to people, and it all comes down to people willing to work for their bag. And I know that's a very repeated phrase that I, you know, a lot of people hate hearing because, but honestly, it's the truth. I mean, it doesn't really get much truer than that. I mean, the greatest tokens ever existed came because people got behind an idea or a meme or an ideal and uh, they grinded for it and they spread it to every corner of the globe. And then all of a sudden it's sitting at, you know, billions of market cap and whatnot. Um uh, but I mean, also a big contributor to that, too, is uh, we wouldn't be seeing that those kind of market caps if there weren't already uh, hedge funds and uh, 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 major corporations, you know, institutions already dabbling in crypto. They manipulate tokens all the time. You see it all the time. And that's why they get so big that you, you do have you do have hedge funds and institutions that do this to tokens. And um uh, and that's a fact. So the only way to uh, create true sustainability is uh, invest in people. And so that's my idea there is invest in the people that uh, 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 that I'm pursuing. And so, uh, I mean, that's the best way I can answer that question uh, for longevity is it all comes down to people. It doesn't come down to a single idea from a developer or a single marketing strategy. It, 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 it all comes down to people and you have to have a little bit of luck. You have to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of at the right time at the right day uh, for the right reason um, kind of thing. All right. And the bulky crypto wants to know what's the strength of the team. Uh, strength of the team right mm -hmm. now. It's pretty great. 
right? Right now we have a lot of base people that actually understand the movement. And uh, uh, we got ourselves a shilling team uh, for Twitter. That's uh, that's much needed. Just get outside of the Telegram world. Um, you'll see them daily on here. And uh, we also have a lot of base people behind this too. Um, uh, I'm not going to put names out or anything like that. Um, but we got a lot of base people that are behind this, and they want to see it succeed. It's just. It's hard to it's hard to get behind you know certain ideas with certain names, but uh, yeah, we got people that actually understand the reason for why all this was created, and they themselves are pissed off to no extent to know that if something doesn't change, that two thousand five two thousand six um, uh, date uh, it may come quicker than that. You know, if things don't change, and then all of a sudden we're all sitting here trying to flip, you know stocks for five percent and uh uh everyone's back into you know uh the normal world of corrupted marketing uh, corrupted uh stock market i mean and uh that's where that goes and so yeah we have a strong team and i want to uh, ambition obviously is to make it stronger so uh if anyone I, I try to get back to as many messages as i can every day um some people not so much because it's just promotion or if it's just scam me I, I won't answer back to it i'm sorry uh there's too much of it so uh yeah you can imagine that's that happens to everyone who's getting in developing but uh i love the team that i have and has grown so far and uh they're behind the reasoning for the project and so every day we're looking for that next i put it this way we're we're digging through a very, very, very large garbage pile digging for tiny little specks of gold. And if you're one of those people that find this idea attractive and understand it, um, man, get a hold of me. Be real. You know, don't come out, you know, harsh. Um, you should have done this. You should have done that. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Uh, come out and say, man, I like the idea. And I think I have something positive to bring to the table. Um, you're going to get responded to. You know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of people in crypto are very abrasive and uh, not necessarily much different from the real world. But um, uh, yeah, uh, our, our team that we've grown so far, I'm very proud of. Uh, but it, it's obviously in order for this thing to grow to where I want it to go, it's got to get much larger. And so that's where that outreach happens. And so you'll see the continue marketing and you'll see the uh, continue outreach. So that's the answer to that one. Got you, man. Got you. And back to the VC. All right, let's go with smart moves. Smart moves, you can go ahead, man. After that, we're going to get Jason back up. I see he's got his hand back up. All right, smart moves. Go ahead, bud. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. Great presentation. It's been an awesome presentation, man. I'm definitely enjoying the air, man. So I want to know... You have a great plans of bringing the BSC chain back and fucking Ethereum. That's the main goal of the project. So I want to know this really requires a great lot of effort from the community. So I just went to your website now and I discovered why not you introduce or maybe state some reasons why you think BSC is better than Ethereum. And this will actually help people visiting your website to see reasons why they should stay back and make it back reach again. And instead of, if you're doing this, will you plan maybe provide some community merchandise for these ones who have fully established themselves that BSC is better than Ethereum? Maybe providing some T-shirts, some face cap for them to truly show that they are truly holders and strong believers of the BSC chain. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see any reason not to do something like that. I really don't. Uh, if people want a T-shirt that says "Make BSC Great Again," I mean, just to uh, step back a little bit, you know, uh, the word, the words, "fuck Ethereum," right? That that's really hard hitting, and a lot of people won't wear that in day to day life. But if you, you know. Uh, get creative with the marketing of that uh, and bring them to the project, and then they'll soften up to what it truly is if they understand the idea behind it. So it's a great idea. 
and uh, uh, I'd love to be able to do that. We, we reach a certain point. Hell, man, I'll, I'll put it out of my own pocket and get people wearing stuff like that um, and also update the website for that. Um, all that is on the table. And one thing is when I say that not a single developer can create ultimate success, that is true. And everyone knows that. So it comes down to the community and if they want to get behind something with, you know, and, and know that they're safe, um, this is the one to get behind to, especially if you want crypto to last long, last a while. So, uh, it's a great marketing strategy. Um, get people wearing t-shirts, get people wearing jackets, hats, merchandise, all that stuff that all comes as, as the community starts to grow and outreach starts to gain a little traction. So just remember guys, this is the first, this is the first week that we're on, uh, that we've launched and uh, uh, we're making great strides, but it ends up, you know, obviously coming down to the people behind it. And we have a team, our team needs to grow. And if you hold a good size bag, man, get behind something like this. And you'll, you, not only will you make some money in the end, uh, if, if we're successful, but uh, you'll actually accomplish something. And uh, uh, yeah, that's what I got to say about that one. Oh, okay. That's, that's awesome. I, I, I enjoy, enjoy the plans that you have towards your project. It's definitely a great one. And uh, maybe I think as a suggestion for the team, you could just put up a particular write-up showing why BSC is fully better than Ethereum. And maybe when a new investor comes to your website, you can actually say, yes, I see more reasons to go on BSC than Ethereum chain. And maybe also incorporate some, some techniques used to protect some fake projects. And that would be awesome on your project ecosystem. Thank you, Dumbledore, for the opportunity. And great project, man. Thank you, DC. You're welcome, dude. Hey, good question, man. All right, let's go over to King Jason. Let's see if your mic works this time. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? What's up, man? How you doing? Okay. My question uh, for this project, what do you consider to be its strengths? What are the uh, inevitable weaknesses, attacks to this project, and how do you intend to minimize them? What opportunities do you think you have running this project when compared with other projects? What do you consider to be the greatest um, strengths of this project? Thank you. Okay, so the answer to that, the greatest strength is the potential of the movement. It's what it is. And I'm going to keep repeating that. Last year, 2022, over 1.1 million tokens across all chains were launched. 99.99998% of them all failed extremely quickly. Um, and it all comes down to people and movement. And if I can light a fire up someone's ass and get them to understand this idea that crypto is not going to last very long if you don't fucking act, uh, man, that is the greatest strength in the token. And you have someone behind it that's going to put effort into it, right? Myself, but I need a team uh, built stronger. Right. I, I have people, but I need people that are getting behind this. And that is the greatest strength in it. The greatest strength is in the motivation. The greatest strength is in the innovation. The greatest strength is in potential. And so, uh, man, that's that's what it is. And uh, a lot of that just repeats again. But still, that's that's what it comes down to is uh, it, taking all of these community ideas into everything that we have just you know, talked about, uh, putting them into, uh, uh putting them into a pile and sifting through them. And it's gonna, uh, something will eventually pop. And that's when it comes down to the community becoming active too, because it, it, it's a hard sift to sift through all the people that are, are so into the mindset where, I get into this token and man, it's like 90, it's like, I keep, I hate giving percentages, but it's like the majority of everybody doesn't even understand what crypto was actually meant to be when it was created. They don't, they don't understand that, that it was meant to be a currency. It was meant to be something usable, 
is meant to be something uh, uh, that, that has a value to it, that has a store of value. But people just look at it as something you can uh, something you can trade into your own personal country's fiat currency. I, I mean, that's that's what it's turned into, and that's why it won't last unless people get into movements behind this. Y'all have a good run. You know, some people got wealthy for quite a while. Some people burned that wealth. Some people ended up committing suicide because of that wealth. I mean, it's a nasty story if you dig into the history of, of a lot of successful people in crypto. But they got away from the real mindset that why cryptocurrency was created. It needs to be a currency. And it's not, right? It's becoming a security. It's becoming controlled. It's becoming governed. It's becoming... Uh, uh, a cesspool of mindless gambling bullshit. And if we get that idea through people's heads that a movement needs to happen, and like I said, whether it happens with my token or whether it happens with someone else, I'm standing behind that. And that's what it needs to be. But in myself, in my, uh, my drive, my ambition to get people behind that idea, uh, man, I'm not going to stop. I, I don't care if I'm the last holder. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to keep grinding. And that's how it's going to be. So uh, another answer to a great question, man. Oh, okay. I understand now. Thank you for answering my question, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. That's a good question, dude. Good question. Okay, let's move on to, let's go to Lord Advent. Lord Advic, your mic is unmuted, buddy. Go ahead. Lord Advic, go ahead, man. All right, let's go to Hippie Crypto. Go ahead, bud. Your mic is unmuted. Hippie Crypto, you can ask for it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Welcome from Oklahoma, USA. Hey, uh, I'm wondering because I'm an old hippie. Every movement requires uh, capital, okay, for it to spread like wildfire. So what revenue ideas do you have to set up for sustainable uh, sustainability for the token, yet being able to use that money for outreach as well? Well, I mean, that's why we put in a that's why we put in a tax based system to the token. But also, a lot of this is self funded too, and um, some pockets are pretty deep. Uh, when we uh, uh, when we want to get through this first stage of what we're doing, that's where it comes down to. And man, if you want to talk about being an old hippie. I mean, I live by a whole bunch of them. I mean, I'm talking Midwest, Iowa, like uh, the U.S., right? And uh, <laughs> man, I, I have a lot of the same mindset as like, what you're saying. Like, how are you going to do it if you don't have the money, right? What kind of campaign runs a good campaign without money? Well, that's why we put the tax system, you know, in place of what it is. And uh, a lot of this is going to be coming out of our own pocket, too. So uh, to answer your question, um, it's funded, but uh, it, it's going to come down to will it gain traction? Yeah, it, it, it probably can, you know, with enough advertising, it can. And I'll keep repeating this, too, as well. In the very beginning stages of this, the best way to get eyes on the project are to, you know, invade the world of Telegram and then spread out beyond that. So the marketing and the funds for outside Twitter and all of that business comes, you know, probably next week, a week after. And uh, uh, it's funded and it'll happen. You know, even if only a few people are a part of it at that point, you know, I, I don't know people's mindset with what's going with how they're thinking about this thing. But uh, I do know I'm not going to stop. So uh, it, it, I do know there's funds and that'll that's the best way I can answer that question, I guess. I think you're kind of missing, missing my point here. For you to gain traction with people that want to be a part of your movement, you need to make them available because it's not just tokens. You know what I mean? You have yeah. to offer them something that they can wear with pride to, to advertise because your best advertisements can come from feet. You can get all the traction that you need here in the crypto sphere 
But if you don't have revenue to keep it sustainable, when you have all of these people that are just in for a small, you know, one X, you're going to lose those and then you're going to lose market cap. So honestly, in my opinion, which I'd be all over this, if you had it, uh, had a marketplace set up, I'd buy a beanie, I'd buy a bandana <laughs> and I'd wear that shit all over the place. I mean, that's a, my it's a great, I mean, it, it, what's your opinion about the idea? Everything I've already discussed, discussed, if you've been listening this entire time, what's I'm your here. opinion on that? I love what you're doing. That's, I love what you're trying to do, but we have to understand the, the psychology of the traders. Cause we have a lot of traders that come from countries that don't really have a lot of money. And so you have yeah. a lot of people jumping in and out, jumping in and out. You need to reach out to those people that are willing to come out of their pocket that are holders to keep funding. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe yeah. even no, just no, put like... a wallet, put a donation uh, wallet onto your, onto your website and I'll dump hundred dollars in. Yeah, man, it's a great idea. I, I mean, uh, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't thinking uh, of a, uh, applying some like that this fast, but, it's a great idea. I mean, it is. Well, that shows you're... forward thinking. It shows forward thinking and it shows that you're wanting this to be longevity and you want to allow other people to feel like, hey, I'm a part of this. I donated to this cause. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yep. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. But yeah, I I'm all in. Dude, I got to tell I got to tell you, man. A, a lot of people a lot of people don't come on here and actually give input. They give they give questions for the competition money. That was actual real input. And I want to tell you, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah, I appreciate it as well, Hippie Crypto. Make sure to keep on coming back, man, for real. I yeah. will, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get one comment question. Let me see if I can pull up a good one. So RO Random wants to know, will the project name be changed at some point to something a little mellow while it's still maintaining the theme? This name comes across as too rude, doesn't it? Can work in a negative way for the project, maybe. That comes from RO Random Ape. Um, no, yeah, I, I guess we um, I guess we kind of discussed a little bit of that. Um, yeah, yeah we did, but... You know, uh, it's... I mean, I guess you have to be a broken record in something like this because there's no other way to put it. Yeah, the name is uh, very strong. Uh, the, the the name comes out very harshly, right? Um, man, I, 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 I mean, we watch tokens go into the multi-millions, multi-billions of the stupidest names imaginable. And uh, there's plenty of names on CMC with curse words in them. Uh, but this name, you know, it, it has a curse in it, but also it stands behind an idea and an ideal. And so that's what this comes down to is uh, we're going to push it as far as we can go. And uh, uh, and beyond the boundaries of that, uh, me personally and with the team that I'm gathering or have already so far and continuing to gather. Uh, and it, there are limiting factors to the name, but. Man, I mean, if enough, if, if if enough people, if an army grows behind it, then it, none of that matters no more. All of a sudden, it's it's about the idea. You know what I mean? I mean, literally, the term "fuck Joe Biden" in, in the form of "let's go Brandon" spreads all over the U.S. You know what I mean? And it may not have the curse word in it, but everyone knows what it means. People are used to those hard hitting ideas, and so that's the best way I can answer your question. Got you, man. Got you. That was that. Was, I think that was the best way to answer that question. To be honest with you, yeah, I, I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> That's yep, let's kind of how it was. Yep. Let's get one last question from the chat, and that will be the conclusion of the AMA part. And then we're gonna get into the rest of the giveaways. I got some trivia's. The best question winner and the number one is gonna do is race. Y'all make sure that y'all pay close attention to the chat at all times because that thing will fill in a matter of seconds. And I don't mean like fifth year city. All right, Roishi Sattva. Listen, I just want to say this, Sonny. Listen, this is your first project, and I know that you are doing the 
best damn job that you have ever done. And <clears throat> I've been in crypto for uh, about three years now. And devs, in, in terms of devs, you are one of the the uh, one of the most most legit that I've seen so far. Trying to re revamp BSC, and uh, I just want to give you a shout out for that because it's, it's not easy because it's full of jeets. And as you've seen on your own project, um, as you're talking last night uh, about jeets. They were jeeting on the project. But now you got wells that are supporting the project. And I know that this thing is going to gain a lot of traction. And we support you, brother. And that's all I want to say. You know, man, I, I appreciate you, man. That's that's uh, uh, that's encouraging and that's refreshing. I, I, I didn't get a lot of that today. Uh, uh Hearing that from a voice from a real person, <laughs> that's uh, that, that's definitely encouraging, and that's that's what's needed for these things to grow. Uh, Sonny, yeah. Sonny, you sound like you sound like you're from my area. You sound like you're from New York area. I'm not sure where you're from, but um, I I bought every dip that happened, and you know we're gonna, we're gonna grow this thing from from we're gonna grow this thing right back up. Man, I appreciate that, and uh, I, I'm not putting any lack of effort into this. I, I mean, I'm obviously I'm not going to do that. And uh, like I had stated before, um, uh, I don't do crypto for a living. Most of us do not, um, but I do do this for uh, the movement, right? I, I do do this to put all of my energy into this. And if it becomes for a living, then that's what it becomes, and that's what it's going to be. Um, but man, I, I got to tell you, I, I haven't heard much encouragement today, and uh, you kind of just made my day. Uh, it's very appreciated. <laughs> no, listen, listen, Sonny, I got your back. Everyone else got your back. Everyone else that's on chat got your back. So this thing's going to fly, and that's it. There's, there's no no point about it. We're going to fly. Wow. Uh, dude, let's fucking go. Let's do this thing. Absolutely, man. Awesome, man. Yes, sir. But thanks for the words, dude. Um, that encouragement definitely means something, dude. You know, uh, just as a dev and a project owner, it's a lot of pressure, a lot of things like that, man. So every time I want to come up and make something known, man, yeah. I got no problem with it. All right, Lord Advic, my man said, just let me ask my question. <laughs> my man said, yeah. you're talking so much. All right, Lord, you can go ahead, bud. Can can you hear me? Yeah. All right, I can. You guys, uh, you know, are so bullish about you know fuck Ethereum, you know. But as an investor, I do invest, you know, both the Ethereum and you know the BSC. So I was quite late for the AME. I just wanted to know why you guys are, you know, are against the Ethereum. Is it because of the gas or? Is it because of the things going on right now, the the beer markets that you guys said of Ethereum and you know don't and don't and you know focusing more on the BSC? Okay, well, yeah, there's several factors to that. Obviously, the gas we're all pissed off about paying a hundred dollars per transaction randomly and even worse in a bull run. But uh, as I stated before, um, if y'all get online. And look up what the World Economic Forum is. Um, it, it, you'll see what I mean. And you'll see, do some research for yourself, too. And how this whole MEV system works, the validators that profit from maximal extractable value, uh, the prioritizing transactions and things like that, proof of stake, reduced security validators. Uh, uh, numbers are way too small. Uh, it's, this thing is a globalist ran nightmare. It, it, that's what it is. It, it's it, it's being controlled by only a select few people, and it is the anti decentralization. And so, if people understood that fact, man, there would be a million people in this VC right now listening to this, uh, because we all want crypto to last, 
and this is another broken record me going off about that again but it's 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 my answer and it's always going to be my answer um uh, when they completed their merge, you know, switching from proof of work to proof of stake, uh, their consensus mechanism, whatever, that's all bullshit, man. This thing is, uh, it, it's World Economic Forum. It's aligned. It's, uh, it's companies, you know, like Coinbase and uh, and all of that. It, it, it's all for a movement towards centralization. And we're going to see the end of what we know as crypto. And I, I don't care if you, you know, if that sounds like conspiracy theory to you, it's, it, it's not. Just do a little research, find out the people behind that's controlling the, the controlling it all. And you'll see why movements like this need to happen and why I'm putting myself out there like that. And it's not an easy thing to do, man. Like I've already stated, I, I could have made an ETH token, you know, I, I, I could have gone an Arbitrum, some shit like that's hype right now and made a bunch of quick money. I could have done that very, very easily. Ask anyone that knows me really well. I very, very easily could have done that. That's not the point. It's not the point. Uh, the point is I want crypto to last. I, I want tokens to eventually become currency. I want to walk into a freaking grocery store and pay some BSC for my damn uh, steak and eggs, dude. Uh, like I, I want to see that time come and uh, it can only happen if things start to change. So that's another answer to that question. Uh, all right. So uh, okay. apart, from, apart from the Ethereum you know, network that you guys are, I guess uh, uh, you only build on the BSD. Uh, you have plan on you know and, and you know expanding to other network apart from the Ethereum. And and uh, what if um it comes you know to a part whereby you guys need to you know partner with you know some kind of you know Ethereum um, Ethereum project. You go on you know partner with them or you also against them. I. I, your mic may have been rugging. I, I didn't catch a lot of that. Uh, so can you hear me now? I, I, I can hear you pretty good now. I said, uh, at first I said, uh, are you guys only, you know, based on the BSC? Since you guys are against the uh, Ethereum, uh, are you planning on, you know, you know, expanding this project, you know, mixing with other, other chains, other networks here? And what if it comes to a part that uh, it involves, you know, you guys, you know, uh, partnering with some Ethereum projects? You go ahead to partner with them, or you, uh, you also so partner with them. I think I understand your question, and uh, to answer it right now, no. Right now, the whole premise is bring BSC back. That's the whole premise. The, the chain we used to love, the chain we used to know. Uh, uh, chain we used to, a lot of people you know uh, had the most fun with was that you know it it it, it changed a lot of lives man uh, the gas fees alone you know what does my heart good you know what does my heart really good being able to see people make five and six dollar buys because I know that if they triple or quadruple their money you know that may be man that made me food for a freaking month for some people. You know, that's what does the heart good is in the, the transaction speed is, is amazing, you know, and uh, it's it, it's the chain I want to see to succeed. I do believe in CZ's vision of, of what he's trying to create. And he's getting a lot of a uh, lot of opposition there. And uh, man, I, I want to be something that uh, I want to be something that uh, works towards fulfilling that vision or at least helps in some minor way towards that, or maybe a major way if it, if it really, really gains traction. So, uh, you know, right now, uh, this is about BSC and I want it to be about that. I don't want to, you know, pollute the whole idea with involving other chains and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let's make BSC great again, man. I mean, that's, that's what, it's what the name is. Let's, let's do that. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. Thank you very much for clarifying my question and you know giving me some points why you guys you know why you team you know need the BSC back. And thank you very much, DC, for you know giving the opportunity to ask my question. Thank you. Yeah, man, you're welcome, dude. All right. Well, 
that concludes the AMA part of this AMA. Now, let's move to the giveaway. So first, I'm going to go ahead and match the person who won the best question. 